Kakamega County in Western Kenya. Some of the main crops grown here are sugarcane, maize, beans, finger millet and sorghum. Every planting season presents a different kind of challenge for most smallholder farmers in this region. But their biggest nightmare is the recurring crop killing weed known by its local name, Kayongo. The striga weed is one of the leading causes of crop loss, a significant dent to farmers' livelihoods and major hindrance to food security. To me, striga is just a nightmare because all along we've been planting maize. Uh, for the past, let me say five years, down the line. Okay, you've not, you've not been producing what we expected because when you go to the farm, what you expect is to get something that at least you can keep on the table for the children and then at least you sell and get something for school fees, like upkeep. But uh, since Triga came, it has been trouble. You don't get anything. Is maize uh, actually a cash crop or a food crop or uh, just a cultural crop? Because uh, if I can spend uh, 20,000 to do maize farming and end up getting one back, then what is the need of uh, uh, growing maize than doing any other thing? So I, di I disqualified maize as, uh, as cash crop and then uh, I disqualified it as, it as one of the crop that can bring uh, money or food security. So I decided to do any uh, other farming. Striga is a destructive, invasive, parasitic weed that can cause up to 100% yield losses by attacking the roots of staple crops such as maize, sorghum, millet, cow pea and upland rice resulting in food insecurity and lack of an income. In Kenya, in western region alone, Striga has infested over 217,000 hectares of cropland, resulting in maize yield losses of up to 182,000 tons per year. March 21, 2021 will go down in history as the day Kenya became the first country to commercialize Kichawi Kill, a weed bioherbicide technology to combat Striga, one of the worst threats to food security in sub-Saharan Africa. This is a huge sigh of relief to maize and sorghum farmers in western Kenya. Expressions such as Kayongo or witch weed will soon be forgotten in this region. It's not about toothpick, it's not about uh, well, Tunga is not about Kalro, it's about the farmer. That woman who works each and every morning, tilling her land in the hope that she'll have the harvest, she'll take her children to school, she'll get other uh, amenities of the farm, and that her social life or socioeconomic life will be impacted. Although there are striker management technologies that exist, they have not been fully uh, or widely adopted by farmers due to mismatch between technologies, socio-economic conditions, effectiveness, and availability. However, farmers and consumers have two, uh, have two concerns. One, the potential poisoning of food and the environment arising from chemicals which are currently used to manage these uh, striker uh, pests. Secondly, weeds are increasingly becoming resistant to the herbicides, which is also a global concern. This is because striker attacks the roots of the crop within 48 hours of planting, which means by the time weeding is done, whether by hand or using uh, chemical herbicides, it will be too late to reverse the damage. The research team developed a unique distribution system which involved growing the selected fungal strains on toothpicks. These were then transported to the village where the researchers worked with a team of farmers to make a fresh, live inoculum by cultivating the toothpicks in the cooked rice for several days. During planting, a cupful of inoculated rice was placed with a maize seed. The trials showed 42 to 56 percent increase in crop yield, with a similar result showing in the regulatory trials. Paired plot trials took place on 500 farms between 2014 and 2015. So I have a lot of tea here, but this lot of tea is being coated with the fungus here. So now we got the lot of tea, all too thick. With the fungus. So that is the fungus we are calling Fusarium sporum, former specialist, Spike The fungus is from Kenya. 
it is native from Kenya, and, and it, it causes a disease in striker called Fusarium mute. So it kills striker. So what we normally do now, we have been, been, been doing some research, we caught the fungus on these two lower pins or toothpicks. So now after coating, take some days, we prepare rice, this is rice, we have a lot of rice, the one we can call the substrate. So we are using the fungus, we make the fungus on the, on the rice substrate carrier. So we have rice, we have rice, then we have the double of pins, these are double of pins. These are also double pins. There, the double pins are carried in what we call inoculation apparatus. They have been enclosed in a straw. This is a straw, this is a straw. There you have the double pins which are put the fungus. And there you have straws or two pins which are put the fungus. So after coating, you have made rice. The rice cools. After cooling, you throw in the double pins or two pins into the cold rice. So what you have there is rice where the fungus was not applied, what we call a control. And what we have there is rice which has been inoculated with the fungus using the total of pits which were put in the fungus for stores. You can see the difference here. Yeah? This one is what the color is pink. Okay? The control, no change. You can see the difference? So that this means this rice has been colonized by the fungus and then it turned pink. Turning pink now means it is ready to use. To apply to the farms. Uh, this product has really helped me because in the first time uh, I noticed the, those flowers I went to the office of uh, agriculture and the extension of Sai came to my farm. He, he identified that weed and then they found toothpick kamban. They made an effort and came to my home. They demonstrated on my farm. I called a few farmers to come and see. In the first place, I noticed uh, some improvement, but not uh, not 100%. I harvested 40%. Uh, the first demonstration, I harvested 40%. The second demonstration, I, harvest, I harvested 65%. Then I was sure it was working. Because I was just uprooting the weeds, cutting the weeds like uh, cutting vegetables or firewood. 